Hi guys, Jamie from Boxing Life, and today's video, I wanted to give you a short breakdown of my thoughts and tactics for the upcoming Battle of Saitama 2 between Nao Anui and Onito Denaire. The first clash in 2019 in the World Boxing Super Series was an exceptional event that won fight of the year. The clash was without a doubt Anui's most challenging test to date against the experienced Denaire who had some very good moments throughout the fight. But the Japanese star was able to come through adversity and come out on top, winning in a unanimous decision. If two and a half years passed since the last bout, will it be any different? Anui has much impressed since and continued his dominance with three solid knockout wins as he pushes his claim as one of the best in the sport pound for pound. The monster will know this rematch with Denaire is vital in setting up the next step in his career, whether that be to step in with Butler to become undisputed at bantamweight, or to once again step up in weight and challenge the likes of Fulton and Akhmedaliev at £122. A big performance is required regardless of what he does next. Since the last fight for Denaire, however, he turned back the years once again, picking up the WB strap by defeating Obali, who defeated Anui's brother, becoming the oldest champion in boxing at 38, while also the oldest champion ever at bantamweight. He once again backed this display up with another convincing victory over Gabalo. But with both guys about to face each other again, I believe this will very much be a fight of who can set up traps and openings first to win on June 7th. But now let's take a look at some of the keys to victory for both men, and the most obvious example is by looking at their previous fight between themselves, and how they've also approached their most recent fights. Let's start with Anui. In the first fight, you could tell there was much respect from the Iowa Anui towards Denaire, no doubt due to the power he possesses. The monster used his jab with precision and power to keep the puncher of Denaire at bay, while he also made sure to move out the way by circling to his left each time after throwing it. This worked very well at first as Denaire was very much a stalker, trying to figure out his next move and punch rhythm in the opening rounds. I knew he was using the jab tremendously by going to the head, guard and body before firing his right hand. But it would also help him to know his range so he could fire his quick and varied combos from head to body or vice versa. After a strong first round from Anui, he clearly felt comfortable enough to let Denaire come closer as he would be in better range to counter and attack with his famous body punches. However, this would prove a huge mistake as Denaire was able to land a huge left hook, breaking Anui's orbital bone and cutting his eye. This of course changed Anui's whole approach for the rest of the fight, forcing him to make adjustments to protect himself. However, I believe he can take much confidence from these adjustments in his upcoming fight. He instead looked to use a stick and move tactic with the jab and counter punch with big solid shots. This actually helped him win some of these rounds, and I believe he needs to do something similar in the first six rounds of this fight. Anui's persistent jabs to the body and counter left hook of Denier's right hand would work over time, as the younger fighter was able to be more consistent before really stepping up his work rate from round 10, eventually getting Denaire with his own beautiful body shot due to his quick varied combinations. This is where I feel Anui has the best chance of getting a KO by taking out the older Denaire in the later rounds. But it will be interesting to see how he approaches it, as Anui has very much resorted back to his stalker pressure style since the fight. So I am intrigued to see if he might actually start fast to see if he can take out the Filipino Flash. Denaire though in my opinion still has a good chance and whatever way Anui approaches the fight, I think this will actually give Denaire the opportunity to land either of his big punches. And he arguably has the most technically sound left hook in boxing, which has knocked out many opponents. But as much as this is a very dangerous punch, he is best using it when up close, or on the break, or countering. Against Anui, he didn't land it probably as much as he would have liked, due to Anui circling so much to the left, and because he landed it so devastatingly, 
early in the fight. Personally, I'd like to see him double up his jab before throwing the hook or throwing the hook off the jab. By doing so, it will help push back Anui or force him to shell up his guard or circle to the left, which therefore would help him set up his other big punch, which of course was his lead right hand. And he would catch Anui many times as he pivoted out to his left while also countering over the top of Anui's jab, hurting him on more than one occasion. For me, the early rounds are once again going to be key for Denier to land these huge technically sound shots. His timing and counterpunching are what will give him the best chance to take out the monster. Looking at his fights with Ubali and Gabalo, his timing of the left hook and overhand right seem to still be spot on, and Anui will have to watch out. But unfortunately for Denier, he isn't getting any younger, and although I still think he's great at this age, Father's age will no doubt come towards the later rounds. It would be an amazing story if Denier was able to pull off this victory, and he certainly has the ring IQ to set up one of these big punches. But personally, I would be surprised if Inui hasn't made the improvements in his game since this fight, and I edge him to get victory on June 7th. Let me know how you guys have this fight. Do you think it will be close like the last time? Or do you think it will be a more definitive win for either guy? Make sure to comment below and let me know your prediction. If you want more content like this, make sure to check out my Anui breakdown videos. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.